Hey everybody. Today, this week, we are going to talk about the four different types of voices. Four voices, okay? So I know we've already talked about this a little bit, but we're going to go back over it. So the first voice we're going to talk about is our singing voice. So our singing voice. So we're going to list the different places that we use our singing voice, okay? So one place that we use our singing voice is in my classroom. So in music, okay, music class, okay. So use it in music class, okay. So another place some um, might use it is church. If you sing on the kids choir or just from your seat in the pew, you sing in church. Another place people sing is at home. I'm always singing at home. Everybody's tired of it. My sister's tired of it. My mom's tired of it. So I'm always singing, but I come from a singing family. So everybody in my family sings too. I'm just the only one who went to school for it. So everybody's just a little tired of me singing because it's a little too much. We were just singing Frozen into the unknown the other day. So that was fun. Um, can we think of any more places that we use our singing voice? Um, I use my singing voice in the car. When I'm driving someplace and I turn on music and I start singing, that's where I sing. I sing in the car. Um, a lot of people sing in the shower. If you take showers, if you don't take showers, never mind. But I take showers and so I sing in the shower. So that's some places that you use your singing voice. If you can think of any more places that you use your singing voice, let me know. But that's some places that you can use your singing voice, okay? Um, the next voice we're going to talk about is our speaking voice. Speaking. Speaking voice. So, where are some places that we can use our speaking voice? We can use our speaking voice in the classroom when we're answering questions for our teachers, right? When we're answering questions for our teachers, when we raise our hand, we answer a question, you speak, don't you? Um, you use your speaking voice when you're talking to your friends, right? Talking to friends, okay? Talking to friends, that's another place to use your speaking voice. Where else do we use our speaking voice? Um, hmm. In the car, when you're talking to your parents. In the car. Where else? Hmm. In the classroom, talking to your friends. In the car, when you're on the phone. On the Phone, on the phone. Those are some good places to use your talking voice. Um, or your speaking voice, sorry. You can say talking voice, you can say speaking voice. Okay, the next voice we're gonna talk about is our whisper voice. Whisper voice. Where are some places that use your whisper voice? We use them in the library. In the library. Mm -hmm. Where else do you use your whisper voice? Ah, some people use it during hide and seek when they're hiding. A good 
one. Hide and seek. Um, hmm. What else do you whisper when you're trying to be quiet? When you're trying to with your friends? When you're trying to be quiet? Some people say whisper during a performance. Whisper during a performance. So to your friends and when you're during a performance. Those are some times when you use your whispering voices. When you're in the hallway. Don't talk when you're in the hallway, but if you do talk. In the hallway. In the hallway. Any other places? If you think of any more, let me know. Okay. Whisper voice. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to talk about your shouting voice. What do I always tell you about your shouting voice, especially in my classroom? The only person allowed to shout in my classroom is Miss King. So, when do you use your shouting voice? I know some people say on the playground. The playground. Use your shouting voice on the playground. Uh, you can use it, some people say at home. You shout at home. I never shout in my house unless I'm talking to my mama and I'm in my room and she's in her room. <laughs> um, what else do you shout? When you're outside, just outside, period. When you're outside, okay. Okay, your shouting voice is a lot, right? Uh, when you get hurt, a lot of people say when they get hurt, like when they, you stub your toe or something, you shout. When you get hurt. That's a good way to use your shining voice, right? Okay, cool. So those are some good examples. So if you think of any more, let me know. So um, you got your singing voice, which is um, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's your singing voice, right? And then your speaking voice is me talking to you through this video, okay? This is my speaking voice. Hello, my name is Miss King. Thank you for tuning into my video. That is my speaking voice, okay? My whisper voice is when I'm whispering to you and I don't want anybody else to hear me but you, okay? That's a whisper voice. Remember I told y'all y'all don't know how to whisper because every time you try to whisper in my classroom, I hear you, right? So that's your whisper voice and your shouting voice. Is that right? So we talk about our shouting voice. That's our shouting voice. Okay. You gotta remember the difference between all of your voices and when we use those voices. But the most important voice is your voice. Okay. Your voice is important. Okay. In any way that you use it. Okay. Um, so I remember last week we talked about notes. So let's um, review our notes. So you're going to start with the littlest note, which is this one. And this is your eighth note, okay? And your eighth note equals half a beat, okay? It's your eighth note, okay? And then the one before that one is I wrote it funny is your quarter note quarter note and it gets one beat okay and then what's after that one? It's your half note, and your half note equals two beats. Two beats. 
And then last but not least is your whole, whoa, is your whole note. I say whole because it starts with a W. Is your whole note, which equals four beats. Okay, four beats, okay? So remember your whole note that equals four beats goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then your half note, which equals two beats, goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then your quarter note that equals one beat goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, okay, and then your eighth note that equals half of a beat goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay, so that's all I have for you today. Um, thank you for tuning into my video. Um, remember that next week is spring break, so you will not see a video from me next week. Um, but I hope you enjoy your spring break. Um, I hope. Uh, I get to see your faces soon because I do miss you. Thank you. Bye.